Neuralink, they have received FDA approval for human trials. So some background on Neuralink. Basically, the idea behind it is they create electronic implants that would decode the brain's activity and communicate it to computers. So it's the ability to identify all the different things that are triggering our brain and having a computer basically decode what that actual like action is, right? So if I'm thinking of moving my arm, the computer can then recognize that I thought that I was trying to move my arm. So it's a little bit of mind reading, right? But if you were to like extrapolate this out, it's basically the matrix because if you can read things out, you can read things in, right? So in the same way in the first matrix when they're like, I need to know how to like fly this helicopter. And they're like, hold up one sec. And just pop it in, but you're good. You're good. You know Go Fu. for it. You know yep. Kung Fu. You know Kung Fu. <laughs> you know how to fly your helicopter. So, I mean, there's a lot more controversy we could dive into, but high level, what are your thoughts on this concept overall? So for she high level, I think it would be kind of sick just to like learn something super fast and not really, you know, just in there. In the sense of prosthetics, I think creating like, Again, you lost a body, you lost a limb, and streamlining that to be as efficient as possible. But I could just see like, I could just see like Terminator like type of vibes coming in. We have open AI, all the AI technology, then you're going to have Neuralink, which is now going to, oh, we have this database, and then we're just going to make our own robots that could just, you know, take over. That's freaky. Is this any more like freaky than like all the technology that's happening with AI right now? No, I think like you said in the very beginning, we're dealing with a change. The dangerous part, though, is that there's many reasons why people stop having AI tech in the past, but why now is it being okay where it's out in the public? Because there's certain projects you you're more familiar with this, but there's a certain point where you they kind of saw like, oh snap, it's dangerous. By dangerous, you mean like the technology is saying something about. I don't know, pressing delete on the human race on the lines of like that. But what, how is it now safe or appropriate now that we're using this? Like, so you probably have a better background on that knowledge. I mean, from the, from the AI side, the difference mm -hmm. is a company created the technology and gave access to other people to use that technology. Prior companies that have experimented with it didn't provide public access to it. That's what's creating that spike is that people actually have access to it now. Um, and I mean, it's just the decision of one company to be like, hey, you can use this versus, hey, we created this thing and we're going to hide it because we don't think it's ready. Um, but when it when it comes down to like this Neuralink stuff, Neuralink is not the only player in this space. So there's another company called BlackRock Neurotech. There's another one called Synchron. Um, they've actually already done uh, implants on humans already. So there's like, there's 42 other cases of some way, shape or form, this technology being tested on, on a human. And I mean, like, dude, could you imagine, I mean, like in, in the matrix, they have this, like, literally like, it looks like a microphone jack that goes in the yeah, back of like their right. head. Yep. And I think the latest drafts of neural links originally was supposed to be like kind of behind the ear. So it's like not something you kind of see. I think the newest one now is like somewhere up in the top of your head. So it, it's pretty visible of where it is. And I think that's probably just a direct like reflection is like, as you research more, you're like, hmm, it actually needs to talk to this part of the brain versus this other part of the brain. Right. Like yeah, you can't then, like, cause you're just, you, you just can't go from one. Like there's different types of lobes with other fun, like function, yeah. left hemisphere, right hemisphere type of thing. Yeah. And they're, it's... they're making the decisions based off of like science and data, not because it looks better. Right. No. And then it's then out of a collective, then you can maybe stem it from, okay, now we could put an optimal spot where it's going to be the most effective. And this is when the trial and error comes in. Absolutely. So here, I'm going to send you a video. Watch this video. So before they like published anything for like human trials, they've been doing this on animals, which obviously has this controversy with, you know, human uh, animal trials for anything. But watch this video and let me know what your thoughts are. You can kind of scroll around through it, but high level what it is, is Neuralink put their technology into a monkey and taught the monkey how to play Pong.
So they inputted knowledge into said brain. Yes. You can pair the damn thing to a phone. Monkey's just thinking through Pong right now. Yep. This was two years ago. Yeah, that was, that was another thing I was going to call out was this isn't like it happened yesterday, right? Like this is yeah. like technology that they've refined another two years worth. But that was just an example of like what they're able to do so far. And I mean, it, in a way, it's mine. It's it's being it's the ability to read someone's mind, right? It's it's mind reading is what it is. Yeah, it's executing through technology. Like, oh, I have to go up, then it's now just streaming down, and we got to put the cursor up. So Holy the dystopian, crap. the dystopian thing is obviously if everyone has one of these transmitted inside their brains, some government entity can like know what's going on and maybe like mind control people. But like, there's a lot of other upside that could potentially come from it right like if you're a paraplegic right or a quadriplegic you can now think through different actions of things that you need to do and remotely control a prosthetic hand or yeah like i don't know maybe there's some air quote safe way to connect to another interface that's maybe a public domain that you can actually like interact with if you need to go to a vending machine and order a soda right like there there's a lot of capabilities with the ability like the fact that you can now leverage what you want to think into an actual action what i also imagine it oh my goodness having metaverse into like this thing like i don't know like it just it could just technology nowadays is getting like you could meld it I don't know how what what the application things that you can do, but you can you can literally plug into the matrix. Like if you take that concept of like metaverse going into like it just oh dude. I'm I'm kinda I'm kinda glad I might be dead by this time because I don't even know how I'm gonna handle this. <laughs> You're not gonna be dead by the time uh, this technology hits mainstream, dude. That maybe, like technology like this type really of technology old. is on the hockey stick curve right now. So Oh, it's like it's around it's about to like be off yeah like a lot of this technology whether it's like Neuralink, when you're looking at ai things like that like like the first ai stuff 10 15 years ago right 20 years ago and yeah. it's just kind of been like like in its like infancy now it's at a point that like okay there's like adoption to it right this kind of technology like there's more than one company that's doing research with it there's obviously like they're they're able to produce results and so depending on how they want to like implement it, if they want to keep it, you know, uh, just their own proprietary, you know, trade secrets and stuff like, sure. They could keep it in that, that, that way. Or it's only a matter of time before it becomes more accessible to other people. And then they could start experimenting with different use cases on it. A black mirror is, I actually never watched black mirror only because I think I saw one episode and it freaked me out because the possibilities of it being real, like, it's always there. It's always on the cusp. So this reminded me of the episode I've seen was that's why it freaks me out. <laughs> Dude, just you can watch Black Mirror or just read any sci-fi book and then it becomes reality from there, right? Like mm -hmm. all the stuff that we're starting to see nowadays, you could find like an old books, old sci-fi books. It's like someone came up with this like futuristic idea and now it's just like technology is at a point where you're like, well, we can make that a reality. Is it a good idea? I don't know. But like it, it, it has the capability of becoming a reality. Yeah, for sure. Not getting a smart toilet after this, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping that crap analogued. <laughs> You're going to be like, you know, like our grandparents, they're like, I don't want a cell phone, like unless there's a landline. But like, you're going to be that next like cusp of like things coming out. You're like, I, I don't want it. I, I don't want that. I wouldn't want it because I wouldn't want to learn it or do it. <laughs> Dude, that's how people just become basically irrelevant as the workforce they do. changes. I like, really hope at a certain point, like I'm 50 or 60, I'm just chilling and I'm like, I don't got to, I don't got to play the game anymore. I'm chilling. It's the goal, but I think that's one of the scary things I, of... Dude, 50 or 60 is not old anymore. You know that. Yeah, I know. Like, even for... Like if you think like 62, 65, when people are like, oh, I'm retired, like there's a large set of the population where they're like in their 60s or 70s and they feel young still. Technology, man. 
Yeah, but like if you're feeling young yeah, and like 60 or 70, that means this stuff is very, very relevant still. That's a job for future Justin to decide. <laughs> okay, kick it down the bottle. Wait, kick it down um, the dude. alley? Kick it down. Kick the bottle down the alley? Oh, God. You might need Neuralink. You can't remember this stuff either. <laughs> okay, so like that that was another part thinking about this. is like who would be the type of person to sign up, raise their hand, and be like, I want to be your first human to test this? Dude, I don't even know. It's kind of terrifying. Like, I wouldn't want to. Like, it, that's like you're surgically like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you're, you're, hey, you might get permanent brain damage that you might just be doing this. Like what is, they must have one hell of a care package or just say, hey, I sign a waiver and you're good to go. I, I don't know how. I mean, I'm sure there's, I think you and I probably think it's a little bit crazy. I'm sure there's someone out there that'll probably do it. Like, they'll like, this is really cool. Or I don't know, maybe. Neuralink is like, hey, we'll pay you a thousand dollars to try this out for like twelve weeks, and you provide us feedback on it. Someone's like, ooh, for a thousand dollars, I'm down. Like, I don't know. God, you have to be real. Has to be a really crazy care package for me to do this. <laughs> oh yeah, I I'm not gonna touch it at all, but I will definitely watch <laughs> the research as they release different updates for sure. Like, dang, that'd be cool. But never mind, I'm good. I think the ability to turn it off or on would be very important for me um right like there's times where i would want it to be able to scan my brain waves and there's times that i don't like in an ideal state it doesn't have to go into my head at all it'd be cool if it's like a, it's like a, a nicotine patch down. that could just be put onto my head <laughs> and then i could take off the nicotine patch and then all of a sudden i'm back to like i'm disconnected off the grid dude you're always gonna be on the grid i can't with you no no, that's a dad joke. No. <laughs> You're going to have a smart house, bro. You're always on the grid. I'm just saying. Circle this back. <laughs> the house is on the grid, but I will not be.